Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase and today we are going to take a look at Divine RPG. It's actually finally been updated. It has been so long. Only problem is guys, there are a few bugs in the newest version, but anything that doesn't work, I will still go over in the video. But yeah, this mod adds in eight brand new dimensions into Minecraft. So many bosses and mobs, weapons, armor, I mean all kinds of stuff. Like basically, it takes Minecraft and makes it like 20 times bigger. That is how big this mod is. Um, so what we're going to do for the video is go through like everything, but not the really small details like recipes and stuff like that. Because honestly, it would probably take hours to go through everything from this mod. But right here are all the different ores. And some of these appear in the overworld while others appear in other dimensions. And they're actually really important because some of them are needed to actually like make the portals. So you really need to pay attention when you see like brand new ores around. And yeah, this mod is not just for like adventuring. It is for builders as well. I mean, there are so many cool blocks. Like I put them all out over here. Like there's tons of bricks, tons of lamps. I mean, these look pretty awesome too. Like every single one looks better than a redstone lamp. Like there is so much variety for building. It's actually pretty crazy. Like here's some glass fences over here. And one of the weird things is there are a lot of pumpkins. Like, these are the pumpkins. Like a creeper pumpkin, skeleton, um, spider, ghast. This one kind of freaks me out for some reason. And this, like, giant eye right here. So, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff you can mess around with. There's even, like, different colored torches. And even, like, um, different bookcase right here. So, yeah, if you like building, you're actually going to enjoy this. Even if you don't like adventuring too much, it definitely will make you want to go adventuring just so you can get some of these cool items. But first thing we're going to look at is the weapons. And, yeah, there's a lot of melee weapons, as you could tell right here. Huge variety. All these are craftable. Guys, I would really recommend getting not enough items because if you don't have it, you're really going to struggle making anything in the mod. And I said they're all craftable. There's actually a couple that aren't. I believe the Sand Slash drops off one of the bosses. I think a couple do. And most of these you can actually craft. And um, some of them you can even color. You see right here like yellow Ender Sword, red Ender Sword. You can actually like change the color of these, which is pretty cool. And yeah, they actually look really awesome. There's like the Molten Sword, Dravite Blade, Crab Claw Maul, Crab Anchor, Corrupted Maul. So yeah, definitely some cool stuff in every single one. Looks pretty awesome. They even got like pink ones, you know. I mean, my girlfriend, she would love the ones like that. I'm pretty sure she would pick that over a stronger one anyway. But yeah, there's some awesome stuff here. I'm not going to go through every single one, but I'm just showing you guys what they look like. So let's grab some of these weapons. The first one, the Halite Blade, is the strongest melee weapon in this mod. I mean, that is freaking powerful. 90 attack damage. The next one we're going to test out, the Inferno Sword. Burns targets for 12 seconds. And this one right here, the Frozen Maul, has unlimited uses. You're going to notice this on some of the armor and weapons. You know, it lasts forever, but the recipe tends to reflect that. And usually they're really hard to make. And it also slows the target on hit. Yeah, a lot of stuff actually has, like, special effects, which makes the mod so much cooler. I mean, weapons are kind of boring when they just do more damage and don't do something, like, special. But, yeah, we've got some pretty cool weapons. But now, time to go through some of the ranged ones. And I think there's even more ranged than melee. And I actually like that because ranged weapons are usually so cool. And the variety is definitely here. I mean, there's like books you can attack with. Um, there's cannons, phasers. There's even like harps. Got like the bard thing going on. It's kind of cool. And right here, there's like the serenade of strikes. We're going to grab this one. Lightning damage. And these right here are the strongest slicers. You kind of just like throw them. They're pretty cool. And yeah, right here, like Frost Claw Cannon, Icicle Bow. There's just so much stuff. I just can't go through everything. But yeah, there's a lot of cool weapons. Like, you're never going to not have something new to get. There's just so much stuff to, like, collect as you're going through the mod. And now there is a lot of armor. But there's also some tools as well. There's the Rupee Set, Armalite, all kinds of stuff. I mean, and there's even, like, a special kind as well called the Shick Axe. And what this does, it, like, combines all the tools into one. Like, it saves some inventory space. So you don't need to have like every single tool in your inventory at the same time, which is nice. And right here is the armor. Needs two chests. That's how much there is. Like so many sets. There's Halite, Realmite, all kinds of stuff. And I believe that these used to actually have special effects. And I did mention there are some bugs in the mod. And right now I've tested them and they don't seem to have them anymore. They're probably going to get to fixing that really soon. So let's grab something pretty strong because we're going to test out some stuff against mobs. Let's, I'm thinking Halite. Halite is really powerful. I think it's the strongest armor in the mod, so we'll grab that. 
Because I don't really feel like getting myself killed right away. And yeah, some of these actually look really cool too. I like like the Inferno set. And a second chest. So yeah, you'll never really run out. But yeah, there is a lot of different armor you can choose from. So what we're going to do is put this on. Let's see how I look. Oh, I look freaking awesome, don't I? Especially with the weapon in my hand. I'm like a green king or something. I look amazing. Except I can't see. But I, I guess I don't care. When you're this powerful, you don't need to see. So what we're going to do is fight some mobs that um, spawn around. Apparently, there's a Cyclops right on top of the portal. So we will have to fight him. And as I mentioned, there are some bugs. And one is with this dude. Like, these dudes are all over the place, but he's not aggressive towards you normally, which is fine, because he's not attacking me right now. But even if I hit him, he will not fight back. It's kind of sad. So come down. What are you doing up there, anyway? Come down. Come down. Just reached him. And yeah, it does a lot of damage with this weapon. And he's just a normal mob. 400 health. Giant eye. It's, it's freaking scary. This is just a regular mob. And sometimes they spawn in groups as well, meaning you're going to die if you start a new world. And you see a couple of these dudes, he'll just like instantly kill you. Inferno Sword, he is now on fire. And we also have the Frozen Maul. And I actually think it put slowness on me instead. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it slowness on myself. So as I mentioned, yeah, there's some bugs that they're trying to like fix right now. Probably don't want to put slowness on yourself at any point in time. It's alright. I'm going to kill this dude. And he's the only one I noticed in the overworld that actually doesn't attack, so um, it shouldn't make too much of a difference when you're playing. So now we're going to spawn in this dude, the Arid Warrior. He's got 100 health, and he attacks extremely quickly with range, a half a heart of damage each time. Just show you guys right here. I mean, you could easily be killed, and keep in mind, I actually have the best armor in the whole game. So if you don't have that on, you're going to have to run from this dude. So if I throw one of these at him, the Halite Slicer, they're really powerful, 42 damage. But keep in mind, they actually drop off a boss, so you can't really get your hands on these too easily. Try this one. Yes, lightning. That is a sick move. So we have killed him. Hopefully his loot wasn't lost in that. I think it was, actually. <laughs> Might have to kill another. All right, let's spawn in one more. Just see what he drops. You're going to see these dudes in the desert, like, all the time. Very common mob. All right, he's dead. And he actually dropped, oh, some sandstone and some red wool. So kind of cool. Easy way to get red wool, definitely. And the next one, the Desert Crawler. You're going to see these dudes all the time in the desert, too. They have 70 health. Hit me one time. Oh, my God, that is powerful. Yeah, run away from these things. They are extremely powerful. That was a lot of damage. It did, like, freaking three or four hearts on me with the best armor in the game on. Not only that, I'm actually... Oh, I'm on hard. I thought I was on easy. No wonder. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I was like, oh, my God, those things would be really hard to kill in a group. All right, guys, before we get into the different dimensions and bosses, I just wanted to show you there is actually a ton of food with this mod, too. I mean, there is the Twilight Apple, tomato, fruitcake, snow cones, chocolate log, eggnog, and even peppermints. I mean, this mod really covers, like, all aspects. So you always have something different to do. But now it is time for the bosses. Best part right here. And, yeah, the first one you're going to fight is going to be the Watcher and also the Ancient Entity, which is the only one I've noticed that is actually glitched right now. When you try to spawn him in, it just crashes your Minecraft. But I can show you guys the Watcher. I definitely can. And, yeah, normally he's only supposed to be able to spawn in the Nether, but I can actually spawn him here. And this dude is pretty freaky looking. He's like a giant eye. I mean, fly into the air. What are you doing on the ground? I've never seen you standing before. Get into the air. There we go. That was so weird. I've never seen him, like, sitting on the ground before. But, yeah, it's definitely a tough fight, and I'm not going to be fighting all the bosses in the review, basically because it would take so long. I actually remember when I did a full playthrough of Divine RPG, one of the boss fights took me, like, 45 minutes. And it was a flying one. The flying ones take forever. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he has, like, explosive attacks and shoots stuff at you. It's actually really difficult. And you have to fight him. Because he drops the blocks for the first portal to the next dimension. And so does the ancient entity, but right now that is bugged. Hopefully they will fix that very soon. Alright, this one right here is the Horde Horn. This one actually summons a boss in the end. Which is very cool. There's actually another boss you can fight in the end. And right here are a bunch more bosses. All like different ones from different dimensions. And I'm pretty sure I could show you guys every single one of these right now. And yeah, he's just going to continue to fly around. Alright, this one right here is Denzos. <laughs> And I believe it spawns two. Denzos and Raynor. Am I right? Ravor. That's his name. 5,000 hit points. And yeah, they, they have a lot of health. And they have awesome weapons on. That is the one I was wielding before. And it is the strongest one in the game. And as you can imagine, he's the dude that drops it. And the bow, this dude drops it as well. 
So yeah, 10,000 damage you need to do. But luckily, you know, they really don't like daytime. Somehow you could use that to your advantage to kill them. Just like sit back and wait like six hours because they have, they have 5,000 health. It'll take about six hours for them to die. But yeah, very powerful bosses. Next one is Kerat. And this one is like a giant bunny, I believe. Yeah. And when you fight it, it actually spawns in like evil bunny things to attack you. See if it actually does it right now while I'm in creative. Do you spawn any? Not right now. Oh, there it is. It is an angry bunny. They have 60 health. So yeah, it's constantly spawning those, making this battle like so much harder. These dudes, they don't do anything special. He shoots at you from range while the other dude, you know, attacks you with melee. All right, the Twilight Demon. Oh, this dude, um, he is not easy. He has 6,800 health. Of course, he's on fire. Should probably, I'm going to switch it to night just because it is pretty ridiculous right here. All right, guys. So I had to switch it to nighttime so you could actually see this dude. Um, he is pretty crazy. I think those are your eyes, are they? Are, th are those your eyes? They are freaking scary looking. I imagine he could see really well. Um, from what I remember from this fight, um, he hits really, really hard. And he's very fast. So be careful. He has 6,800 health. That is, that is amazing. This one, the Macharan. Hopefully saying that correctly. And yeah, it doesn't look that intimidating. It's actually like a unicorn with two heads. You're going to see a mob that's really similar to this really soon when we go into the dimensions. And the next one, the Soul Fiend. This one right here, it has 5,800. And yeah, I really like the models. They're really interesting looking. And this dude is really fast. And it looks like Kara has given birth to many very small versions of itself over here. This is the Infernal Flame. And it spawns the King of Scorchers. One of the toughest bosses in this mod. And yeah, I don't know if those are faces, but he is freaking intimidating looking. And um, from what I remember fighting him, he shoots like these explosive attacks that you to do so much damage. Even with the best armor in the game... Like, um, he'll kill you in, like, two hits. You really need to be careful. Keep in mind, when downloading this mod, guys, it is extremely challenging. If you love a challenge, though, you're really going to enjoy it. And by the way, this is, like, the enchantment table for the mod. It's just, like, a special one. So you can use this. It doesn't need to have books around it, which is always nice. And now we're going to head into the dimensions. But before you do, you need to make the twilight clock. This is how you light the portal. And the recipe is a bunch of clocks. And that's probably, like, the only recipe I'm going to show you guys. It's just so important. I figured I should mention it. But yeah, let's jump in. And this right here is the Dravite Hills. It actually seems kind of peaceful. Kind of a nice place here. Um, those dudes, they actually, in my opinion, they actually look like the skinny version of, you know, Majin Buu when he's in that form. It looks just like him to me, kind of. It looks pretty funny. Um, but right here is a bunny. And you can actually tame these. You can have a pet. All you need are Dravite Sparkles. I'm pretty sure you get them from the ore. Um, you can actually see some of the ore right there. It's pretty cool looking. And yeah, you can tame them. All you have to do is feed it to him. Come here. Wants to be my pet. Your head is stuck in the block. Are you all right? You can see by his eyes that he's tamed. And what we can do is try to fight a mob. Will you help fight this other bunny? No? All right. Let me try this. Come here. I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to have to switch into um, survival for this to actually work. I am so going to regret this. Am I going to get knocked off? I got to be careful. I might get knocked off this entire place. Maybe there's a better spot to do this. Let's look around. But yeah, there's lots of bunnies around this area. And they will, like, teleport towards you if you're far away. And you are going to see there is another mob here as well. Yeah, this dude. I showed you the, like, leader before, but this is the Cadillion. I consider him, like, a very sad unicorn. Because his horn is crooked. That's probably why he has that sad face, I'd imagine. So let's see. I'm going to tame you. You're right next to this. Okay, and kill it for me. Attack it. Do I need to be in survival? Yeah, I do. All right. So we're trying this out in survival. I'm going to go up here. I think it's safer. All right. I am so going to regret this. I'm going to get knocked off the side and die. But um, we'll see what happens. Kill it. This is so cool, though. When he attacks, he turns like awesome. Come on. Knock it towards him. Get him. There he goes. He turns into an angry bunny. And he seems to be chasing me. Don't be... Ch Are you chasing me? I thought you were my... I thought we were friends. I, I thought we were friends. You're my pet. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? All right, so yeah, we are going to switch into Peaceful. As I mentioned, a couple things are not perfect at the moment, and that definitely is one. But yeah, there are quite a few different pets you can actually tame, and that's one of them. So let's see. I need to make my way back to my portal. I don't want to get lost here. But yeah, a lot of the mobs actually, their models get reused, so you're going to see them again, but like in a different color, in a different dimension. And what you do in these dimensions is you kill the mobs. They drop stuff, which you need to actually make the blocks for the next portal. 
You could also get the same stuff from mining as well. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to really do in like every single spot. So we are out. So let's get into the next dimension. Here we go. So this one right here is the Uvite dimension. It's like a purple color. It's really similar, you know, to the other dimension. They all really look like this with like different trees and different colors, but it looks pretty cool. And yeah, this guy looks familiar, doesn't he? It is the Cadillion, but now he's more powerful than ever with 400 health. But if you look over here, there's some different ones. Like this dude right here is a Twilight Archer. He's got 430 health. And this guy is crazy looking. He's got like weird like side horns or something. The Enchant Warrior has a pretty awesome weapon as well. And yeah, same thing in here. You need to kill these mobs to get the materials to make the next portal. And you know, to actually fight the next boss as well. Like a lot of this stuff you need to kill to get the materials for the boss spawner. Alright, so we'll leave this dimension and head to the next one. And here we go. So this one right here, um, this one's kind of annoying from what I remember. Um, it is the Mithril Dimension. So yeah, it lags a little too. I think it's because, you know, there's so many islands. The whole place is like filled with islands that go really high up and really far down. As you can see right here, I kind of like how the portal is pink and everything else is depressing. I'm actually a little sad just being here, but um, there's some pretty cool mobs. This is the Mithril Golem. He's got like three faces. I don't know if those are eyes. And that thing just stared at me. What the hell are you? This is the Mithril Fiend. 800 health. I see that their healths are a little messed up. And there's another dude right here. Actually, I think it's a lady. You can tell by her eyes. And yeah, she looks pretty funny. She's got two heads. 300 health. Um, There is another mob that spawns here. Oh, I can see it. It's right over there. All right, that one is like the most annoying mob ever. It is the Cory. They shoot at you and they fly around so much. It's like impossible to target them. And they do so much damage. Like even with really good gear on, they are really annoying. And there is an archer here as well, as you can see. And yeah, this is all islands. It's pretty crazy. But we are going to leave and I'll show you guys some more dimensions. But same thing here. You kill the mobs and get the stuff for the bosses and also for the next portal. Alright, this one is a little more buggy. So I need to actually put it on peaceful. And it is because the mobs tend to crash it. I'm not sure why, but I'm still going to show you guys it anyway. And it's another, you know, very sad dimension. Kind of goes with the portal this time. So this place, not exciting right now. No mobs, but I'm sure they're going to fix all that stuff. There's ore around. And there is even some cool trees. Like every dimension has its own trees. This one has like, looks kind of like an apple tree. It's kind of cool looking. But yeah, you can't get the wood and craft stuff. There is so much stuff to make. Like, if you love building, you're going to be in all these different dimensions, like, all the time, just trying to, like, get stuff. It's crazy. And the next one is a little buggy as well. I feel like the further we go in, there's a couple more things that have problems with them. I switched it back to easy, so mobs would spawn, but this really happy dimension in comparison. As you can tell, it's blue. But um, no, no mobs are spawning. I'm not sure why. None of them. But I do like this one. There's even, like, water flowing down. But I'm just trying to show you guys everything. I know in like a month or something, everything will be perfectly fixed and people will be watching the review. So I do want to like explain like if something's missing. But yeah, so many people requested me doing this mod review. I really wanted to do it anyway and show you guys everything that I can. So now we're going on to some of the unique dimensions. This one is the Icica one. They actually switched the portal. It used to be made out of um, snow blocks. They changed it. And this place is really messed up at the moment. It's actually just ice. It's weird. Like, it's only ice at the moment. But I will explain to you what is supposed to be here. There's, like, no surface or anything, too. It's really, really, it's really freaking weird. Um, but, yeah. There's supposed to be dungeons down here. You're supposed to spawn, like, you know, underneath the ground. And the dungeons will have, like, a spawner in them. Right now, there's just ice everywhere. And there'll be a chest. And you need to try to get to that chest because it has a snowflake, I think, in it. And it's used as currency for, like, weapons and stuff. Because there's merchants on the surface and buildings and stuff where you can buy it. So it's pretty cool. And to get into them, you actually need to, like, blow it up. The blocks are unbreakable. So what you need to do is get, like, some beds for this dimension. And just right-click them and they'll explode. And you'll get your way into there. It's, it's pretty interesting, actually. So the next ones are really messed up. That one, the Dungeon of Arcana. The portal is definitely different looking, and the place is really unique, too. It's like a freaking maze. It's like literally a maze, the place. And it is... I find it annoying, actually. Probably my least favorite dimension. Right now, when you go in, it just crashes you no matter what. And to explain it, yeah, it's, it's a freaking maze, and there are merchants and stuff around, and you have to, like, open doors, and it's, it's pretty crazy. It's a lot different than all the other dimensions I showed you guys. And, yeah, there are some furnaces. Forgot to mention this. A couple different furnaces here. There's a couple more stuff. And the next one, this one is kind of cool. I actually like Vethia, sort of, except it's, like, 
torturously hard. And there's no way to light the portal at the moment. There's no way to get into the dimension. But yeah, this one, it actually starts you all over. You can't bring any of your items with you. And um, there's like a bunch of different levels to it. You start at the ground floor. There's like a second, third, and even like a fourth floor to it. And basically, you work your way up. There's bosses on like every floor. And you get like special gear. There's merchants there. You have to like get drops. But yeah, you literally have to start with fighting with your freaking fist. It's, it's pretty intense. And it takes a very long time to make your way through it. It's a huge dimension. It takes probably longer than all the other dimensions combined, not counting this one. I don't even want to go near it. This one freaking drives me crazy. Like, um, I went close to it before, and it got me stuck in it, and I had to go into MC Edit to get myself out. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with Divine RPG. I tried to go through it in a reasonable amount of time. I know there's, like, a lot of small things I could have showed you guys, too. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. It really does help me out. If you want to check out the mod, the download is in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.